Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth and world of Warcraft. Have you ever wondered how smoke and mirrors is done in a video game? How the creators of the game hide things behind illusions and things that you're never supposed to see, but it acts like it's really there? Well, I'm going to show you a really cool thing here in the Deep Run Tram. Now, we are currently on the Iron Forge side of the Deep Run Tram, as you can see behind me. Now, you may be wondering, well, this is the portal, yes, but the Deep Run Tram is not actually part of the world of Azeroth. It is its own instance, its own thing, right? It, 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 it doesn't actually exist. You can't get to it unless you go through these portals connecting from Stormwind and Iron Forge. Now, we're on the Iron Forge side, but we are actually on the opposite side of the portal. Now, the way I got over here is I double jumped onto this pillar, uh, created a uh, Dark Moon Seesaw, jumped up, glided over, double jumped, glided, fell rush, and got in here. Now, maybe I can show that in another video, but I wanted to just show you guys what it looks like on the opposite side of this portal in Iron Forge. So let's go take a look. As you can see, everything is an illusion that you're seeing. Nothing really exists in here. What's really cool is you can actually still see the uh, place where the King of the Gnome sits. And there are things that you can jump up on, which is really interesting. And what's actually really cool about this place is there's actually a mailbox here that you can use and get mail from. So if you want to send mail in a uninstanced or untextured version of Ironforge, this is your chance. <laughs> Now what's really cool here, you can actually see the other side of the Deep Run Tramp. That is Stormwind on the opposite side. Now if we were to walk off here, we would fall to our death. So we're not going to do that. We're going to go back in. Now I believe you can actually get on top of this stuff here. Yep, you can. Oops, and we fell. But this is just a cool example of how Blizzard uses well, what I like to call smoke and mirrors. To observe just hide the fact that you're actually not seeing iron forge on the other side you're just seeing a untextured version of it so this is really cool um i really suggest you guys try this yourselves get in here it's really neat to explore um now do be careful as uh it was a lot easier to get in here a long time ago but they've kind of made it a little more difficult where when you jump you got to aim on the side and not actually to the portal you kind of want to aim around the portal because if you hit anywhere around this portal on the side it's going to put you back into iron forge so anyways guys that is how smoke and mirrors is done in blizzard um i'm hoping to go do the stormwind side of things could be cool to see the uh the dwarven district and uh to see how that place is shown so anyways if you like this video please like subscribe to the channel i uh, will see you guys on the next one take care